In this video, I am going to show you how to use the max ifs function in Google Sheets. What the max ifs function does is it will return the maximum value in a range filtered by criteria that you specify in your formula. So what I mean by this is let's say that I want to return the maximum value of sales revenue for things that have department clothing. What I could do then is set up the max ifs function and it would filter my data so that I'm only looking at clothing items and I return the maximum from clothing. That is what this function does, is it allows you to return a maximum value from a filtered range that's filtered by criteria that you specify in the formula. So hopefully that makes sense. It'll make more sense as I actually show you how to use it. First though, let me get into the syntax. So this is the syntax of the max ifs function. The first argument is the range, and this is the range that you want to return the maximum value for. The next argument is criteria range one, and this is the range of cells that you want to evaluate criterion one for. And then the next argument is criterion one, and this is the condition or test that you want to apply to the criteria range. Now you can also add in additional criteria ranges and criterion, but these are optional. So you only need the first one. If you want to apply more, you can, but again, those are optional. Now, a couple important notes about using this function that you need to know. The function will return zero if none of the criterion are satisfied. And another thing is the range and criteria ranges need to be the same size. Otherwise, you will get a value error. Now, this seems more complicated than it really is. As I show you how to use it now, you will see it's actually a pretty easy function to use. So I showed you this data before, but in this example data, I have product sales revenue for various items and I have the department that these products belong to. So what I want to do in this example is I want to return the maximum value for clothing items. And I can do that pretty easily with the max ifs function. So to do that, it's going to be equals max ifs. And then my first argument of the function is the range that I want to return the max for. This is the range that I want to return the max for. Next, it's like our criteria range. So the range that we're going to apply our criterion to. Well, if I'm interested in returning the max of clothing products, then my criterion range is going to be the range that has that, which is A2 through A11. Now my criterion is clothing. And you can see it returns 1004 because of the clothing items, this is the max value. So what this does is it looks in this range to find the maximum value for items in this range where it's equal to this. So that is using max ifs with one criteria range and one criterion. Now to show you how to use it with two, I have a very similar example here. I have sales revenue, I have the product, I have department, and I have the month. In this example, I'm going to return the maximum value for things in the clothing department where the month is also equal to April. And so we would do this a very similar way, equals max ifs. So I want to return the maximum value from this range. And then the first thing I'm going to look for is where this range equals clothing. And then this is where I add in my additional criteria range and criterion. 
So my next criteria range is going to be this, and we're going to do things where the month is equal to April. And it returns 1,204 because of the two clothing items in April, this is the maximum value. So that is using max ifs with multiple criteria. Now, in this video, I have only shown the basic ways to use this function, which should be sufficient for most uses. There's more powerful ways to use this function if you combine it with other functions. You can also use operators, comparison operators in your criterion, which give you some more powerful filtering options, but I'm not going to cover that in this video. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.